Okay, this is my totally on the spot. I hope you guys can see me. Review. I've got the kids eating ice cream. It is really hot out right now, to be exact. Oh my god, it's 88 degrees. What's the humidity? How's your ice cream? Humidity's 40%. See, that's the other thing. But you know what? It's not, oh, UV index is high. Um, so, oh, good. This, can you see something? This is essential. I freeze this part of the way in the, it's Tupperware, it's the Eco, um, in the freezer, and then fill it with water. And even in this weather, and I went out and did a four miler again. I mean, we were out there for quite a while. This is still got some ice in it, like an ice block in it. Oh, and you need it out there. I'm really sweaty right now, excuse me. But I wanted to give you like an on the spot, like we just walked back. So yes, I'm totally gross right now. But um, uh, I wanted to give you like an on the spot review of, I just finished the book, Hunger Makes Me a Modern Girl. It was really good. And let me tell you, you know, audiobooks, I mean, this is, you know, um, on the Overdrive app. Uh, if you're not using the Overdrive app, use the Overdrive app. So I'll link it below. Um, I did a, uh, I did a video about some of my favorite audiobooks. This will definitely be one that I won't forget. I mean, it was really interesting. I've been a fan of Sleater Kinney. Um, I'm a big fan of the show Portlandia. I'll link, you know, what I'm talking about below if you're not familiar and about the book. Um, it was really interesting. Here, here's my perspective on it. I love to read and if it weren't for, you know, having so many children and not being able to like read, set aside, so many young children, I should say, set aside time to really have like devoted to like picking up a book and reading I have to be like on the go and ready so often and to get like exercise in um and everything I have to kind of have them with me so I've decided to do this like stroller walking thing and it works well for me but um I love to listen to audiobooks while I'm going on long walks because as I said before I want to go further because I'm really like in the book um, I feel like you can, when you are exercising and like the blood's really flowing, you know, I just feel like I'm like, I don't know, I feel like I'm absorbing it more or something. I don't know, maybe it's just like um, my imagination, but I get like really, I really focus on it like as if I'm reading a book. Like when I go, when we go on road trips, for example, we'll listen to audiobooks and it's great and it's fun, but it's totally different than when I'm walking and exercising. Try it out and let me know if you experience the same thing. It's like, to me, it's more of an immersive experience. Like I'm reading the book, not just like I'm listening to a book. Um, so that's one thing. Um, another thing that I would say about an audiobook, audiobooks and this audiobook particularly, since I'm, how are you guys doing? Is your ice cream good? Is it cooling you down? Making you cooler? Good. Um, you need a napkin? Okay. 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 I need a napkin too. Oh my gosh. Um, the other thing is that, um, like with this book in particular, first of all, I love books that are read by the author. Um, Not all books that I truly enjoy are read by the author, but there are books that I would have enjoyed more if they weren't read by the person that they like elected to read it. Like some voices just throw me off and I just, bleh, it's like, I'll read the book. Hearing it from the author, like for one thing, I really like Carrie Brownstein's speaking voice. For another thing, for books like this, and I found with other books, there's like added things that you wouldn't get otherwise. Like, for instance, in this book, there were a lot of little music clips. There was a spoken interview at the end. Here are like clips, and even there would be like, before I think the epilogue, you know, there was like a solo, guitar solo that led into it. And 
The other book that was really cool to hear like in the voice of the author was Sarah Silverman's book. Um, I'll link that below. It was really good, but I really like her voice too. Anyway, I just, I finished the book. It was like literally a roller coaster. Um, <laughs> she was talking about in the book at one point, like anthem and ballads. And it's like, that's how I felt about the book. I mean, it was just, you know, bring you up, bring it back down. Right. Um, the story of her life and it was so telling and so vivid and she really and so exposing and I think that the thing is that I appreciate about books like that is um like memoirs is that um is that everybody has a story everybody I mean everybody could write a book and and listening to people's stories to me is so interesting. Interesting to me how similar we all are. And you know, there really is a common thread. And even if it's just one thread in an entire, you know, patchwork, it it connects us and it binds us and it makes us a part of something bigger than we could be alone. Um, anyway, I just wanted to, I need to jump in the shower after these kids are done with their ice cream, but, uh, I just wanted to give you like a, a quick, like on the spot review. Don't forget, be like Pippin and be extraordinary. <laughs> Have you guys seen the musical Pippin? Oh, they did a, um, revival last year. I think it was. We saw it at the Peabody Opera House. It was absolutely fantastic. And... Cool fact, um, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, their daughter, was in the show doing acrobatics and was fabulous and gorgeous and it was awesome. I'll never forget that night. That was really cool. If I knew how to like put a picture into iMovie, I would, um, I would put a picture in from that night. But maybe what I'll do is I'll just put it on Instagram because that... That's like, then I won't have to like research how to do that because I know how to do Instagram. Believe it or not, I'm so behind the times. Fo so follow me on Instagram. Are you following me on Instagram? If you're following me on Instagram, give me a thumbs up so I know or leave a comment. And plus leave a comment anyway because I love to hear from you guys. You guys are really cool. I, I really, really enjoy hearing from you. Like I'm starting to like recognize the names and uh, I can really like hear your personalities like okay, and um, did you see oh Look at this light Isn't it amazing? Oh, I love it hey, See you're getting a little bit of everything book review light review what huh you need me to push it up Okay They're eating these push we call them push pops. Is that what they're is that what they're called? I don't know. That's what I'm okay, calling the kids. I it's okay. Look, there you go. Oh man. Oh man, it's dripping. It's okay. Just eat over the bowl. It'll just drip in the bowl. It's okay. You know I have to wash this stuff anyway. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll just clean you up when you're done. There's a new napkin. You need me to push yours up too? Okay. There you go. Okay, now I gotta wash my hands off. That'll make you sticky. That'll make you sticky, won't it? Anyway, um, you know, you can, so this is on, I have this on a dimmer, you know, right here. This is like, you know, dim like that. So, you know, that's on dim, that's all the way up. And then you can pull these strings and it can go from, you know, totally closed and that's up all the way to, you know, just a little bit open to, yeah, to like, you know, that midway and then all the way. And it looks so cool at light, at night, I'm into it. And I'm minimizing here. You know, not as much, 
Um, we did the black mini blinds in here too. I just have this here. It's going to go in the other, the, the other room. But um, I have a art piece that I'm looking into for this wall. And we're going to paint. I think we're going to paint the kitchen white. Oh, I took off the um, valance and just had that open because why not? It was just like blocking. Look at this gorgeous tree view that I've been missing. And look at that. It's gorgeous. And then I've got my 